So now we're versus Priest. This matchup is not that great, obviously. Because of Psychic Scream is a nightmare card for you. But now like with more Death Rattle cards, it's slightly better. So I guess we keep an egg and play Death. So do we want to play tracking here? Do we know what we need? Probably we do. We want more death rattle triggers because we have good good stuff. We on the other hand we miss the hero power. But most likely he will just heal, so it shouldn't be a difference. And I think the show is strong. So Darman is asking when is artifact release date? Uh like this month uh, it will be allowed to stream it for the people who has access and uh, you can buy the game on the November 28th if I'm correct so uh, so this month a lot of action will start because I guess there will be tournaments when the game will be out and everything and for everyone, the letter and the everything will be starting on November 28th. So that's the schedule. And there will be tournament with $1 million, not prize pool, but the first prize, which is incredibly huge. It's way, way bigger than the BlizzCon in early 2019. So the competition is like amazing there. Um, it's like now at the moment, there are a lot of talented players in the card games and everyone is playing different game like you can probably most of you remember life coach when he was competing in hearthstone and it was always a pleasure to compete against him uh, but he decided to quit because of understandable reasons and there are many good magic the gathering players and many good gwent players and many good chess players and poker players and suddenly in the in the beta i play with all of them and like i never had such amazing competition as i have now in the artifact so that's what's bringing me the most joy like the fact that i can compete against really good players like it's the best competition i ever had so what do we want the cube there's Psychic Scream coming soon, so I guess I like the cube here. So we smork. I think there's no point of adding any more minions on the board because he will simply play Psychic Scream next turn. Uh, I guess like it's too naive to think I kill him with my hero power because because he has the spirit slash maligos combo and also he probably has something like him so i think i need to get a little bit more value let's see if he doesn't have coin uh, coin he got from gargoyle but if he doesn't have the psychic scream it's gonna be over next turn so i think i just get rex and start grabbing a little bit more value Katrina is definitely a nice pickup. And the question is, do we want? I think we want to go the show. But first we discover. So Bear Shark is very attractive. I think he's the most attractive actually. And if I combine it with Gastro, I get a 5-5. Five five. Um, but I have to say I'm not in love. It would die to undoing at some point, but... Maybe developing it, it's slightly better than than the than the show, or is it better? Maybe it's not better actually. Maybe I rather develop the show next turn, which means I could go for Tiger. It has nine power in the late game. It's tough. Maybe I should still develop the the Bear Shark plus Gastropod because it's five power. Now he cannot undo it yet and. He just gets something like Mali goes back, I can trade it away. Which is still quite appealing. He cannot use Shadow or D or anything. 
So which minions do we have left? Like these five fives are also beasts. So I think we just jam Katrina. So I trade first and play Katrina. Oh, show just hosted. Thanks a lot, show. That's amazing. And hello, everyone. So that's really good. So, so yeah, that's sweet. So hello, show army. Uh, how was your stream? How, how high did you climb? <laughs> okay, sure. The Maligos we should kill, like, I'm afraid, or like I'm pretty sure what we should do. And we can kill both these with, with the horror if we want. Or we could play the cube, cubing Katrina, how good it is. I kind of like the horror, to be honest. Like, uh, the other option would be play both minions, but I am not in love with that. So I think I play Massey Horror and Hunter's Mark and Craft the Zombiest. Hmm. This is not my kind of team. Maybe this one could be triggered, so it's probably quite appealing. And I get the cheapest one. So now he's kind of low on value, but maybe he will just win with one mighty spellstone. It will depend a lot. Okay, Lichkin is quite acceptable for us. So Zillax, we play Shaw and and the and uh, Zombies Arthurs. How good it is! Not that great, I guess. I think we should go on a board as hard as we can, though. So. I probably like these two. Or the other option is to play Xylux, trade and cube it. But I kind of like the cube uh, when I have a chance to immediately trigger it. So I can see playing uh, Shaw and uh, Zombiest and trade and go face. I think this board is good enough to bait out the Psychic Scream and leaves me with the best resources. Okay, sure. That's nice interaction, by the way. What the fuck was this? He could do it the other way, right? So this one would be bigger. I kind of like uh, Frostmourne here to start setting it up. And I can connect for eight. Then the question is, do I want zombies or do I want to develop the, the ooze? Yeah, I don't feel like the Hearthstone is the most competitive game at rank 5 when after you get reset of your rank. <laughs> it's like quite easy. Uh, okay, so Frostmourne is the play and connect. The question is, do I want the zombies or do I want to develop the free free? I guess I should go on a board as hard as I can. So guys, I'm I'm glad that you are having fun out of the priest player. So when does the rank 50 start? Is it uh, is it up now? Is someone rank 50 in the chat? And another big host, Grace Dino, just hosted for one viewer. Thanks a lot, man. So glad that so many hosts today. I hope we all have a lot of fun together. <laughs> wow, combo wombo with the Lyra. So hosting raid, right? that's sweet. <laughs> that's really sweet. So how much damage do we have? We have 11 and uh, plus five is 16. So I would like to find some charge minion and kill him immediately. Hmm. So 
So if you attack this twice, he goes to 13 with only 12 on the board. So this does not work. If we trade with these two, he heals 5. Okay, this looks like the way to win the game. Yeah. <laughs> So Chad is suggesting to go for an owl, but I can also go for a, f for a bee, so... so versus Warlock. Uh, I, I think Zelix is not the card you want, uh, because it's more about not getting cracked on board than uh, healing back. It's probably like really, real shame. Like if he was playing against some someone, like he didn't know me, and then some of his friends told him, like, "My God, this is guy is a streamer," and like you, you insult him in in front of thousands of people. And then these players most of the time feel really bad. That's funny. Be nice giant for everyone. And I think we should smork. Like despite he could have an extra cheap 7-7, seven, seven, the life total is an issue and now he has to trade himself instead of just smorking back. So I guess I'm not the slowest player in the universe. This guy is a really great challenger for me. Play death, what is it achieving? It gives me double egg. Just like total rubbish, I guess. Well, like with the Mossy Horror, it gives me two five fives, but it's kind of too late, I guess. How much damage does he have? 18, so it's minus four, it should be okay. So what are the options? Grizzland, play death or the high main? But I, I think like next one I have four of them. I like this way, way more. <clears throat> what? I don't think this was optimal play. This was too easy, but tomorrow there will be a bigger challenge, so if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe button. See ya!